Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners on how to pay for inventory by credit card. My name is Matt Hulquist with the QuickBooks University and this question actually was emailed to me and I wanted to walk through two different ways that you could do this in QuickBooks. All right, so the first one is, you know, if you're following the general procedures of you have a purchase order, uh, you, you receive the inventory, and so you receive this inventory uh, into QuickBooks, and then you have a bill. All right, so let's say that we're going to go and we're going to enter a bill. So I go to vendors here, I go to enter bills. Uh, I can also do that right here. All right, so I'm going to skip the purchase order part and go straight to entering the bill. All right, so let's say that we have a bill from Daigle Lighting, okay? and open purchase orders exist for this vendor. Do you want to receive against one or more of these orders? Right now, I'm going to say no. All right. So we're going to say the date's 12-15-2023, and we're going to put in, uh, I'll tell you what, let me go to my items tab, and I'll tell you how much it's going to be. All right. So when we're entering a bill for inventory, we're going to go to the items tab, and you're going to click. Uh, let's see, this is Daigle Lighting, so we'll pick something that uh makes somewhat sense if i have an inventory part it doesn't look like i do for lighting so we'll just say that we're going to get door frames here uh, from dago lighting all right standard quantity let's say that we order 15 of these all right cost 12 dollars amount 180 dollars all right and we're going to put in our class we'll say remodel okay and we're not going to assign this to a customer job all right, so we enter this bill and we hit save and close. All right, so now we go to pay this bill. All right, so we go here, we say pay bills. And let me find Daigle Lighting. All right, here it is right here, $180. All right, so if I go to pay this bill and I want to pay it by credit card, okay, it's just going to be just like any other bill that you're going to pay by credit card. I've got other videos on this. I go through this in the full training uh, on my website. All right, so down here, you're simply gonna uh, click on credit card and you're gonna choose the card to pay the bill. Okay, so we'll say it's Capital One, Daigle Lighting, $180, paid for that inventory. Pay selected bill. Okay, so it's as simple as that, as paying uh, your inventory bill by credit card. Now. Another way that you can do this, because you don't always, uh, you know, have a, a bill and a purchase order and that kind of thing. A lot of times, maybe you're going, uh, you know, somewhere and you have the inventory right there and you charge it on a credit card. All right. So again, you're not doing a PO, you're not receiving it, you're not putting it into inventory and entering a bill. So let's say you go and just simply charge something that is going to be inventory. All right, so what you can do in this situation is we're going to go to banking and we're going to go to enter credit card charges. And we're going to say, let's choose the credit card. All right, let's say that this is Capital One. And we're going to purchase this from, let's say, Lou Plumbing. All right, there's open purchase orders. All right, we say no. Okay, 12-15-2023. You can have a reference number in here. And we'll uh, go ahead and go to our items tab, just like in a bill. All right, that's the kicker. Okay, so we don't want to go to expenses. We want to go to items. And then you want to choose the inventory item that you're purchasing. All right, so in this case, we'll say these are exterior doors. Let's say we went to, you know, some big uh, discount supply warehouse where we can buy these doors. We go in there, we just swipe our credit card. All right, exterior door. Quantity, we're going to say that we bought 50 of them in bulk and the cost, okay, let's say that we got them for 200 bucks each. All right, so we got a really good deal on this and it was only 10 grand. All right, so uh, customer job, this is not for our customer. We're just putting this into our inventory and we're going to say that this is going to be uh, re remodel in the class. All right. So now this is a credit card charge that we just went and we purchased $10,000 worth of doors. All right. So again, instead of going to the expenses tab, you go to the items tab, you're charging this inventory. I hit save and close. We'll hey, say save anyway. Okay. So now that is how you're going to purchase inventory on a credit card. Generally, there's two ways. You enter the bill, you pay the bill by credit card, 
or you can simply go and enter the credit card charge and make sure that you go to the items tab and put in the inventory items that you are purchasing. Any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment below. Uh, also, head over to the QuickBooks University. I help a lot of people there personally with their personal QuickBooks questions. Uh, go over there now, qbuniversity.org.